<laughs> this is gonna be funny. Okay, so you saw in our last video how we hinged or how Jason hinged a rudder. And there were so many requests for how to hinge elevators because it's so totally different that we decided we need to do this now you to make well. sure everybody's happy. Get it done. Yep. So yeah. take it away, big guy. All okay. right, so on the elevators, we're going to use Type Bond. Uh, type Bond wood glue. You can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's or online or wherever you want. Just the standard original Type Bond works great. Now, what, why do you use standard? Uh, it's we've we've tested both. This one is. Um, okay with chemicals and what does it say uh, i can't remember heat resistant unaffected by finishes stuff like that so the fuel's not going to affect it you don't have to go with the the type on two, two. It's, it's not necessary we've used it for years and as a matter of fact years ago if i can find right it there. here we go years ago pacer who makes zap made this hinge glue here and this was one of my favorite glues in the world and through the grapevine, I found out that it's basically the same as Type That's Bond. That's all they were doing. They were just yep. going like this. Exactly. They're filling them up. So they don't make this anymore. So yeah. we went to the Type Bond, and it but works. But I still have really one of these well. too, and I, I've <laughs> yeah. It's like we gotta fill this I up. Refuse with type to get it away. Yeah. The nice thing with this was it had the nice little tip, but yeah. We but can, I think I think that if, if I'm not mistaken, that tip you can pop off and yeah. fill it up with Type yeah, Bond. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah, it's it's That's a what I because I'm cheap. Yeah, I know this. So anyway, so we're gonna use Type Bond, right. and there goes that. Yeah. That can use that anyways. Yeah, anyways, so we're gonna use that. Uh, we're gonna use a syringe to get this in because unlike the Gorilla Glue we used on the rudder, this doesn't expand. So you want to put a little in the hole, a little on the on the hinge itself. So we're gonna use a syringe, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. So we've already um, so used denatured alcohol on the hinges. You're trying really hard here. <laughs> okay, so they're already ready to go. They've already had the mold release removed. We got our little uh, tool here that's upside down now that it still flops. But anyways, uh, also on this one, instead of using the uh, petroleum jelly, we're going to use the 3-in-1 Marvel Mystery Oil, as it's called. Uh, I like this because the applicator, so much like the petroleum jelly, you just want to put a, a drop or so on the hinge yep. here. Oh, Oop, that was yeah. too much. That was way more. Usually it takes a little more to get it up. And you just let it sink through. Nice thing about having a little jig like this for, as a holder is once it sinks through, it doesn't go down the hinge itself, and this is not working because it's too tall. Sorry, man, I made it too tall. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It, it was my idea. It's actually because I did it too close together. Oh, oh look, see. Yeah, see? Well, here, I will do this. Two monkeys. Two monkeys. Okay. How many monkeys does it take to oil up a hinge? Oil a hinge. Here, here, I got you. Oh, man. Oh, see, thing. now you don't even trust You know what? Me. It's going to be the see, heat. you took away my job. See, oh. now look, you're shaking all over the place. See? Hold it! Oh wait, it held itself. Oh, okay. I got oh, mad oh, and it listened. Yeah, it's scared. Well, so that's because this one, this side's shorter, I think. Now you have a couple of these cut off. Can you explain why you do that? Yeah, well, we're, gonna, I'm gonna, yeah I'm we're gonna look at that in the elevator here. Okay. So it's actually a pretty funny story. So basically if you're using this method, you need an extra person to help hold the... Uh, the or edge, you need a better designed uh, jig, which I'll design. An one. angled angled jig, yeah. Yep, we'll design one. Yeah, because you're gonna make one on your 3D printer, I'm gonna I make am. one on wood, and we'll see which one's better. Mine That's will true. be better. Mine's gonna be better. No, um, so anyway, so again, you wanna kinda work the hinges a little bit. And then what I like to do is once it's worked, I set them aside, just so you don't get it in the excess down here. Work the hinge a little bit. Dab it off there. Make sure it's not gonna get on the hinge itself. You just want to get a good coating of the oil in the knuckle itself so the glue doesn't stick to it. There we go, a little bit there, a little bit there. Work it in, and we're good. So there we go. So now we're good there. Let's go ahead and take our X-Acto knife, cut this off. You can get rid of that. Yeah, we'll get rid of the piece of the oil there. Get our little... You're a smart thinker there. Oh, every once in a while. Throw that in the trash can there. That's the trash can. Okay, so now we've got all this set up. So next step is we want to get our... Surfaces in front of us here. I like to put everything on microfiber towels, even when they're dirty. The voices in my head or in the garage tell me they're dirty every once dirty in a while. Yeah, Watch up there, get a little oh. bit of fresh right piece here. of wax paper. That's a lot of wax paper in there. Yeah, stocked up. I guess. Uh, Costco, baby. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, we're going to put this under here. You heard about a wax, wax paper shortage just Yeah, you know, hey, it's coming, it's coming. All right, well. Up, anyways, there we go. So there we go. So we're ready to go here. Now, as John pointed out, two of these hinges are clipped, and there's a very specific reason for this. And you need to be careful. This stab has the stab tube hole right here, and the reason those are shorter is so that those hinges don't go into the stab tube hole. There's actually a picture floating around the internet somewhere of a guy that 
didn't realize this, he used the long hinges, said, oh, it won't go all the way in. So he, he drilled, drilled the hole, it. then he used Gorilla Glue, and it filled the whole tube with Gorilla Glue. So basically rendered his stab useless, and so don't do that, guys. That's, That's why you guys are watching this exactly. video right now. Right so here. don't be that guy, okay? And you. if you're that guy, I, I apologize, but it was really funny. So anyway, so now what we're going to do I is... Was <laughs> I'm sure you were. So we need to get our glue ready. And uh, this type on has been around for a while, so, you know, should still be good. We're going to go ahead and put... A little bit in our syringe here. Syringe. There's a so point. Where does one get those syringes at? Uh, we'll put the link in our description below. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. I picked these at a, up at a place called McMaster Car. Now, when you're putting this on, you don't want to just squeeze right, right away because that happens. You want to let the air work its way to the top before you put the plunger all the way in. And there you go. Now we got the air bubble. And we're good. And there we go. Now we're ready to roll. We got legitimate glue coming out. Legitimate glue. There you go. Got a good amount of glue in there, and we're ready to rock and roll. So first thing we want to do is just going to squeeze a little bit in the hole here. It's not a scientific amount. I just like to get a decent amount in there. Right at the top. So when when we push the hinge in, it'll push that glue down along the wall and get it good and covered. Let me get me a tag that says "curious onlooker." Here, so <laughs> That's a good idea. Know exactly. What you are kind of curious. And I mean, in a curious kind of way, not really. And then what we do is, there you go, good idea. Just put a little bit on the end here, like, kind of like we do. Um, I prefer paper towel. Oh, okay. paper towel, Okay. So you got that one ready there? Okay. Stand right. So again, a short one in the inboard two holes will be the short ones. And we'll just kind of work it in here. And the nice thing about wood glue is you don't really have to worry about the, the squish out because it happens and it cleans up real easily. And this is why wood glue is my preferred method, as the cleanup is so much easier than epoxy. I, I noticed that you don't have the tape on there and everything else. Too, yep, like it's not it necessary it, so. because it's just a little, uh, damp paper towel and wipe it off and you're good to go. And for those of you who are curious, we did do the prep work before, which is uh, cleaning off uh, these uh, with, with uh, the alcohol, denatured alcohol. Denatured yeah. alcohol. So we did all that before. If you're curious about that, you'll. Well, Watch the last video, which is on the rudder hinging, yep. and you'll see what we do on that and how you do that. Okay. I do have a little squish there. That's a little more than average, want, so we'll yeah. go ahead and wipe that off. Just, there we go. And do the last one here. Now I'll rotate this around so it make it easier. Because I'm all about easier. That's what I heard. It's a word on the streets, so. mm -hmm. huh? There we go. And we're good. I feel like a doctor's assistant. You are. You are. <laughs> Baby doctor. Scalper. Right in. Right in. Scalper. Okay. So there we go. So that's ready. So now we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll just go ahead and squeeze some into the hole. Oop. A little bit all on the hinge line. No big deal. Again, this cleans up so easy. It's really no worry. Get that little blob that. on that one. That's my assistant job here. Now he takes his assistant. Curious assistant, assistant onlooker. Curious onlooker and assistant. There you go. Two titles. Let's try and make this so it all drips in one place. It's multi talented. And yeah, you got something. There we go. So we got ghosts in this house. So we do have ghosts. The door slowly do, yeah. opening. And they should know to close it I'm and walk so away. I'm frightened. Anyway. I scared. It did close. It closed. Yeah, see, I know. I told you. Oh so now, God, like before, that. we can kind of straighten it. Don't drip it on there. Straighten these out for the most part. And so if you never hear from us again, please come to Jason's house and see if there are dead bodies. That's right. From the ghost. Oops. Okay. I didn't help you on that one. There you go, line up. And then we just work it in like we did before. Again, we're not worried about it being straight. We're not worried about the knuckles line up exactly. Once we work it back and forth like that, it'll Go get it. it. There we go. We want to get the hinge line as tight as possible. And still maintain as much deflection as possible. There we go. So now that we've gotten it in, we've worked it back and forth a couple times. Let's wipe that off. Okay, so we've got a couple paper towels that we've cut into squares that our assistant nicely wet down for us. The other assistant, not yeah. this one. We're going to, we have, we have we're going to deflect on this way. That's table. right. And deflect this to the side here. And this is the nice thing about the wood glue. It doesn't leave any residue, cleans up with a little bit of water. Hold it down like this. So it's Sorry. There you go. Just clean it off nicely there. And we're going to flip it the other way, like so. Grab a fresh paper towel. Fresh paper towel. Oops, I keep doing that. You do that keep thing. doing that. Sorry, I get tired of being the curious onlooker. 
There you go. And then we're just gonna. Yeah, it was kind of hurt, you know, when you when you wouldn't let me with paper towels. You yeah. said I wasn't yeah. up in that level. I wasn't assistant yeah. one. And then we had a little two. bit of glue that got on here when we when we were cleaning up one of the drops. So you just want to take a fresh paper towel, a little bit of water on it, wipes away just like new, and we're ready to go. So now we've got all of our squeeze out cleaned up for the most part. We'll do one more wipe down on this side just to get the yeah, knuckles good. A yeah, little bit of glue right there. I can see from the light. There you go. Yep, perfect. Kind of look like John mentioned. You see it from the light reflection, so we're going to look down and make sure we don't have any extra left over. There we go. So now that we're good to go, we can get this out of here because it's not going to drip. Put that aside, and we're going to do our tape trick again. Now, do we need to wipe this down a little bit? Oh, well, just to make dry sure it's it off. Dry, dry yeah. it off if you'd like. Because I see some wet spots. Okay. This side. Okay, so again, we're gonna we're gonna stick it on this side here. We're gonna hold a little bit of up on that one. There we go. Pull it nice and taut. Once we flip it over, this one's a lot easier to do when you're alone because it's a uh, you'll as you'll see in a plane. second. Well, and it'll it'll once you set it down and push it flat on the bench, it'll pull itself in. So now we put this here like this, and we just put a little pressure on it. Now we have uh, except point. we have the horn in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we gotta get the horn up there. That's, That's funny. Much. That's all right. We did the bass backwards way. We did the bass backwards way. You are correct, 100. percent That's okay. That's pretty tight there, dude. It is pretty tight there. There you go. Just give it a little deflection. Uh, as much as I can give it, that's pretty that's tight. Yeah. Nice tight hinge, hinge line. And we're gonna let this sit for probably. I'll let this sit probably a good eight hours. This glue sets up in about 10 minutes. It tacks good, right, on the tight bond, but. Uh, you want to give it a good amount of time to go ahead and cure up, and you're ready to go. So yeah, generally overnight, a type bond will take 24 hours to completely Fully harden, yeah. Bond. And so you do want to uh, give it that much time. You don't want to go out and fly on it the next day. You want to give it a little bit of time to, to cure and, and be fully ready yeah. for, for load. So there you are, and we just you just do the second one the exact same way. Ready to go. You have them all hinged up and ready to go. Okay. And for those of you watching, please uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. It really helps out the channel. Yeah. And uh, use those links below. Those links also uh, give us a little bit of money come back uh, from uh, the link. Yep, from Amazon. Source, so. And uh, that way we can uh, continue to buy, uh, like, tape. We use tape, a lot of tape. Yep. Every little and, bit counts, and, guys. And paper towels. We use paper towels. So, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff uh, needs, needs to be covered in cost. Yep. So we appreciate you guys watching. And look forward to our next built video soon. All right. All right. That went well. All right. Did you, you learn something, Rowie? Really? Oh, yeah. What? You can clean these out too, just by putting it in the sink and running water through it. Oh. Do you want to film that with her phone or with his phone and?